This is my 2015 Chevy Colorado. I got some 22 inch rims with some larger tires when I got my wheel spacers. And I've had some problem with my tires rubbing right here when I turn the wheel. And I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of that in a very easy method that only requires a drill bit, and removing three bolts so I'm gonna show you how <clears throat> the tire rubs when I turn on my truck It sounds horrible as that tire is turning and it hits this piece right here. So let me show you how to fix this. Okay, it helps if you don't have that goofy looking wind deflector. I took mine off a long time ago. So this will be a lot easier. So let's show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm under my truck and I've heard some videos, I've seen some videos of how some people take this waffle off and modify and cut this right here and then take these brackets, mounting brackets and mount them right here and re-drill a hole through there and that is a whole bunch of work. There's an easier way and I'm going to show you how to do that right here. What I did was I took off this bolt right here, this bolt and that bolt. So you take off these three bolts and what you do is you bring this more towards the front of the bumper Okay, and then with your drill, you just drill right here, right here, and right here, and with these holes, you just mount it about an inch closer to the front of the bumper, giving you that much more room. So. Let me know in the comments if that's helped you out. I know a lot of people don't like modifying their bumpers, but that is the easiest way to help solve that issue. And I'll take a video when I'm done and show you how well it works for me. Thank you, bye. Okay, so here are my three new holes. And then one right here. So, like I said earlier, I know a lot of people are worried about modifying their bumper, but this is something that no one's ever going to see unless they crawl up under your vehicle. So I'm going to put the screws in there, see how well it looks. I'm going to turn out, turn my steering wheel, see if I hear that rubbing noise, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I did the other side as well. Again, no one is going to see this modification until they climb up on your vehicle. So this is very easy to do, very quick, and doesn't take away anything from your vehicle. So let's see how it works. Okay, I'm put it in reverse. I turn my radio off so there's no noise. Okay, I'm gonna put it in reverse. So 
Sorry, my phone got stuck to the Bluetooth, so I'm putting it in reverse now. Okay. Let's see if there's any rubbing on this side. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's check the other side. No rubbing at all. This fix literally took me maybe 15 minutes to do. It took me longer to figure out how to use my video camera than it did to actually do this. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope this can help somebody else out who has the same issues and hopefully save them some time and get this problem resolved in a quick and efficient manner. So have fun and thank you very much for watching my video.